Zero Project Conference 2023, Making Elections More Inclusive and Accessible. In this session, which was titled Making Elections Accessible and Inclusive, we talked about why voting is important and the impact that it can have on all areas of political life and participation in public life. So for example, if people with disabilities are not voting in elections, then we don't have an opportunity to have a say in matters that we really care about, such as inclusive education or accessible transportation. So by voting, we have an opportunity to have a say in all areas of public life and show leadership in political life. Accessible vote system presented by Rui Coimbras, president of the Federation of Portuguese Cerebral Palsy Associations. The Federation of Portuguese Cerebral Palsy Associations, together with IBM and Softenza, has developed a voting system that uses different input devices to enable independent and secret voting for everyone, including people with motor, sensory, and intellectual disabilities. The accessible vote system was used for the first time in 2018 in the real election in the Association of Civil Policy of Porto. To set up the accessible vote system is very easy. We need a computer, some devices, and a printer. Make, we make a solution that less is more, and that's why it's very easy to set up, and the cost is not too high to allow anyone to vote secret and independent in an election, and the product can be used from one election to another one. That's why it's very important. If you need more information about the project, please scan me. I would like to talk to you. Engaging a New Generation for Accessible Governance and Elections presented by Lasanti Tascon, Deputy Country Director for the International Foundation for Electoral Systems in Bangladesh. Engage, Engaging a New Generation for Accessible Governance and Elections, is a political leadership training course for young people with disabilities. The program was developed in 2018 by the US-based International Foundation for Electoral Systems and implemented by local partners in six countries through 2022. Engaging a New Generation for Accessible Governance and Elections, ENGAGE, is a course designed by the International Foundation for Electoral Systems. An ideal candidate for the course is a young person. Young university students are selected through a selection criteria process, but where there are no university students or where we don't partner with universities, we engage academic institutions or non-academic institutions. If we are introducing Engage in a new country, one of the first things we would do is to have consultations with organizations of people with disabilities. And then we also usually contact academic institutions or non-academic institutions. It could be technical schools or universities. If not, we would work with networks of young people and youth organizations with an intersectional approach to disability. Sign language video interpretation service presented by Ricardo Downey, head of citizen support at the Electoral Service Chile. The National Electoral Service, CERVEL, is responsible for conducting elections and voting in Chile. In 2021, CERVEL introduced a permanent video interpretation service in Chilean Sign Language on its website to support voter participation by people with hearing disabilities. In 2021, 340 people used the service. CERVEL has a pool of agents and from 1 to 6, and they work from 8 in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And during the election day, 24 hours of the seven days of the week. Cervell hasn't employed directly the interpreters because it's a contract with a company that we, every year we, we do a new contract. And the pool is between one to six agents that depend in the period of the process that we are. Session summary by Virginia Atkinson, International Foundation for Electoral Systems. So in this session, we had the opportunity to hear from government officials, such as election management bodies, disability rights organizations, 
as well as international organizations working on disability inclusive democracy. And what we really learned is that it's important for all different types of stakeholders, government, civil society, the media, universities, academia, to all collaborate together to ensure that the political process is accessible.